I'm going to show the difference between um, a single one by one rib and a one by one twisted rib just to show the difference between the two so I'm going to make a slip knot to cast on a few stitches and I cast on with the um the cable cast on method that's the way I do mine That's to, that's the cast the cable cast on is knitting between the loops and not into the loops. And I'm using size three and a quarter millimeter or size 10 for the older generation um, this is double knitting yarn and that would be the size needle I would be doing the, um, the ribs on I'll just cast enough for the, to give an example 18 19 That's 21 stitches. Now with this, with the twisted rib, or even the ordinary um, rib, always casting and knit into the back of the, the loop on the first row. That tightens the, that, those loops for that first row. And I started with a knit stitch, so I finished with a knit stitch. And so this is going to be the, the ordinary rib, not the twisted one. I'll do this one first. So with the ordinary one by one rib you just knit into the front of the knit stitch you don't knit into the back like you do for the twisted rib That's a couple of rows and I'll pause the video and do a few more rows. This is the the one by one rib I've done, a, the plain rib, I've done a few rows to, to show how it how it comes out. And now I'll show how to do the um, the twisted rib and you can compare the two and see which one you like the best. So I'm using the same yarn and I'm keeping this yarn on the on the same needle because I'm actually using this yarn for some other and knitting something else with it. But I started casting the the stitches on for for the twisted rib bit. The cable cast on again, which is what I always do when I knit. It 
tequila cast on was how my mother taught me. Oh, must be almost 70 years ago. That'll give you an idea of my age. That's 21 stitches I've cast on, the same as for the um, the other bit that I did here. And it's the same, the cast on edge is the same to knit into the back of the, the knit stitch and into the front of the purl stitch. All the way across the row. That's the first row after the cast on row and the next row instead of like I did with the plain rib it's like, a, like I've just done with the, the first row it's knit into the back of every knit stitch I knit a purl stitch as normal and I'll do that for a number of rows And then come back and show you the, the finished thing after I've done a few more rows. And I'll do a few more rows and then come back. And that's the, the twisted rib done. I've done both ribs, both got 21 stitches and both got eight rows and that's how how they look when they're, they're both done. So some people, I prefer this, the twisted rib, because it has a little bit more fancy look than the, um, the plain rib. But uh, I think the plain rib would probably be tighter, because the stitches look like they're closer together, and I'll magnify it a bit in... Yeah, as you can see, the stitch is uh, better there, but uh, I will always do this this type of uh, rib because that's what I like. But uh, anyone likes this video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe. 